Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels into the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Omaha, Nebraska, then you are in luck. Today, we're going to see and explore what makes Omaha a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Omaha has almost 470,000 people and is known as the Gateway to the West, located in eastern Nebraska, right about here on a map. Being in middle America, it doesn't feel like a city with almost half a million people. The cost of living is low, home prices are inexpensive, and it's safe. And that's what makes Omaha a destination for a lot of people. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that make Omaha a great place. Number 10. Nebraska Crossing Outlets Does spending money make you happy? Do you enjoy trying on clothes and buying them afterwards? When you're tired of shuffling the kids around and you need some time to yourself to unwind, this is the solution. Head outside of downtown to Gretna and check out Nebraska Crossing. Here there are over 70 stores in a 350,000 square foot facility. This is one of the best shopping centers in the area. It is huge. They have all the top brand stores you would expect there, plus a ton more all in one spot for your convenience. Inside, there are a number of places to eat if you're there long enough to get hungry, which you probably will be. Number nine, Heartland of America Park. Downtown Omaha has a beautiful 31 acre park that people visit for many reasons. The main attraction is a fountain directly in the middle that projects water 300 feet into the air and was constructed at a cost of $1.5 million. The display is especially awesome at night when patriotic colors are used and illuminate the water below it. Aside from the fountain, there are numerous walking trails around the lake and you can even take a gondola ride. The park provides great views of the city and a nice relaxing environment. So make sure to stop in and slow down. Number eight, River City Star. There's usually no better way to see a city than on the water. The River City Star is Omaha's only riverboat and has only been around for about 10 years, but you'd think it has been much longer. The design of the boat resembles the 1940s and has an old fashioned feel to it. It seats 149 passengers and is available for 60 or 90 minute cruises with options for dinner. The boat runs April 1st to October 31st and is especially popular during summer months. If you're in town during that time frame and feel like taking a unique boat ride that will give you a different view of Omaha, check out the River City Star. Number seven, Jocelyn Castle. Did you know there's a castle in Omaha? The Jocelyn Castle is over 110 years old and it's on five acres of land in downtown. Named after its former residents, George and Sarah Jocelyn, it has 35 rooms and it's 20,000 square feet. Built in 1903, it's one of the most famous and recognizable sites in Omaha. Locals know this site as Lindhurst as well. Today you can take a tour of the castle and see original furnishings as well as walk the park-like grounds. You won't see another mansion like this in the area. Number six, Wildlife Safari Park. This is one of those attractions that I like. One you don't even have to get out of your car for. The four mile drive through Wildlife Safari Park will get you up close with the animals of the park. You'll have your chances to encounter bison, bears, pelicans, giraffes, and all kinds of other species. 
It's 440 acres of Jurassic Park-like grounds without all the killer dinosaurs and fears of getting eaten alive. There are spots in the park where you can get out and stretch your legs. Those are clearly marked and are in spots where there are friendly animals. They take your safety very seriously, so when you visit the park, you can concentrate on having a good time. Number five, Bemis Center for Contemporary Arts. Founded in 1981, this center is located in the Old Market District and is the place to go in Omaha for amazing artwork. The works featured here are done by local, national, and international artists and are presented to give Omaha access to thought-provoking work. Aside from the exhibits, the Bemis Center offers many programs and classes with the focus of art throughout the year for its visitors to take. So if you ever wanted to learn how to do something that you saw on exhibit or wanted to fine tune your craft, this would be a good option to sign up for. The best part of visiting is that it is completely free and it's open to the public so you literally have nothing to lose. Number four, Old Market. The Old Market is a part of Omaha that I would say is the most trendiest part of the city. If you're looking for unique shops and boutiques to shop at, you'll find them here. They also have a bunch of restaurants, pubs and bars and entertainment venues for you to kick back at. This is also where you'll want to go if you want to see some live entertainment or a good band playing some of your favorite music. The Orpheum Theater is in this neighborhood and it's a hot spot for big name musicians and touring acts. Be sure to point your steering wheel down to Old Market and see what everyone's talking about. Number three, Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. Between the Wildlife Safari Park that we just mentioned a few minutes ago and the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, there's absolutely no reason for you to go to any other city to get your animal and marine fix. This zoo and aquarium is the most visited attraction in Nebraska and has been voted the best zoo in the world in the past. With over 3,600 animals and more than 2 million visitors each year to its exhibits, there are giraffes, lions, elephants, and all the big animals you'd expect. Unlike a lot of other major cities in the country, the aquarium is part of the zoo complex and is highly rated as well, with everything from sea lions to sharks. There are plenty of opportunities to feel and feed the animals throughout and it's a must-see in Omaha. Number two, Jazz on the Green. Who doesn't enjoy a night out on the green? Jazz on the Green is exactly that. It is one of Omaha's favorite outdoor events downtown, weather permitting, that features jazz music every Thursday night. This Omaha tradition started back in 1975 and has been going strong since. It's something that a lot of people go to, set out a lawn chair, and sit back and relax to the music. You don't need a ticket and there is no cost to see a show. Just show up at five and enjoy. Number one, Jocelyn Art Museum. For over 90 years, this museum has been a premier center for visual arts. There are thousands of pieces of artwork from all over the world from ancient times to present day here, and the exhibits are both permanent and rotating, so there's always something new to see. And special exhibits just for the kids to keep them interested while you're there. Aside from the artwork, the facility is also a host to things like lectures, events, classes, and concerts. With an on-site cafe, you can plan on spending a few hours here to see everything and learn more about the history of Omaha through artwork. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything? Comment down below what your favorite thing is about Omaha, Nebraska. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.